Well, Crouchy, I've got to say, what a performance from the whole team, but the person who really stood out today was Dele Alli. Yeah, it was. I mean, listen, <laughs> uh, Wolfsburger weren't great. Um, you the know, lowest one ranked the... side in the, t in the competition. Yes, um, so we can't get too carried away. But what I saw from Delhi tonight was was magnificent. You can only beat what's in front of you, and I thought he was first class. He looked like he had a bit of a swagger back. Set up two goals, scored an absolute worldie. You can't, can't ask for more, really. Yeah, and we're going to see that goal now, actually. And it's one of those that you can watch over and over again because it just shows that his confidence is back. To be able to attempt that means that he is sort of back to his sort of uh, that level where he believes in himself again. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it does sort of fell away a little bit. And um, I don't know what's going on this season, but for him to, to have been left out of nine squads, you know, not, not even make the bench, um, we know he's got ability. And, and tonight he proved that. I mean, listen, you know, these, these aren't great. Wolfsburger, let's be honest, but um, but he was magnificent. He was involved in everything good that Spurs did. Um, he set up goals, and, and that was a wonderful finish. I tell you what, we saw uh, Olivier Giroud last night in the Champions League scoring the overhead kick, and, and there's someone else who was pretty decent at them as well. Who's that? I don't know. Oh, you're going to throw this in? <laughs> oh, this was nice. I didn't know this was coming. Um, I know, we thought we'd surprise you there. This is you, uh, you for Liverpool against Galatasaray 2006, turning back the clock there. Yeah, a long time ago. Everyone seems to be doing it now. <laughs> I was a trailblazer. <laughs> you always were, Peter, no <laughs> doubt about that. No doubt about that at all. Got to say, with Delhi though, the thing that impressed me about Delhi today was how he sort of fought back from the obstacles that he's had and what Jose Mourinho has put in front of him. And, you know, Jermaine talked about that pre-match, didn't he, about how he's had a really awful time of it. But mm. just to be able to come back and work hard, get your head down and prove... Well, that I suppose that's, like that's what he's had to do. Um, you know, it's been a real difficult time for him. I mean, he burst on the scene at, what, 18 years old and... Uh, it was, it was incredible. Um, and, and, yeah, he's, he's, he's found it difficult of, of late. I don't think the manager's, you know, the manager's not playing him. But, we, you know, when we watch things like that, I mean, that was a, a ball with the outside of the right foot. Look at this. Is, you know, this is a top player. You know a top player when he's, he's looking around him, he knows his options before he's even gotten the ball. He knows what's around him. He can play that, that wonderful pass out out wide. Um, he was constantly looking for the ball. He had a little bit of petulance about him. I thought he could have got booked <laughs> on occasions. That's definitely the old Delhi um, in a yeah, good way. Yeah, you know, like it was, it was back to sort of the... You know, the team they're, they're facing at the moment. Um, you know, there'd be much, much better opposition in, in the Premier League. But when you've got someone like, Delhi, you know, this kind of level, Gareth Bale seems to be coming into, into the forefront of it. You know, Son and Kane have been on fire this season. You know, if you get if you can get those four in the team and they're firing on all cylinders, Tottenham are gonna be a real, real threat. And you know, it does it does feel as if they are maybe coming back to it. And it, it, you know, I don't know how, how the manager's thinking, but you know, does he want to get Deli Ali into his team? But um, on tonight's showing, you know, you can't you can't rule him out. Yeah, and he did a, assist a couple as well. And this one for Vinicius was just a beautiful kind of vision to actually pick him out here. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, it was uh, like I say. You know, he was involved in in almost all of the goals. It was. Uh, the, I mean, this ball I was purring about it. I mean, this is this is me on the back post there. I would have absolutely dreamed of it. it was begging to be headed in and um, you know we were right behind the cross it was uh, it was a delightful ball and a, and a good header from Vinicius yeah indeed and Vinicius as well as someone who possibly was lacking a bit of confidence there were some other opportunities that he had the one just before 2-0 mm. where he didn't score but uh, but this was really positive as well just that he's you know hungry for the goal as well he's the one who put his hand up and said to Delhi, pass it to me here yeah I mean uh, Jermaine said it in, in commentary you know he seems to really come alive in the box I think uh, you know some of his hold, hold up play could have been could have been better at times um, but I thought he played well and uh, you know a couple of goals it's only going to do his confidence the world of good okay a bit more on a uh, uh, Dele Alli because uh, he assisted Gareth Bale as well and this one was a thing of beauty as well God, wasn't it <laughs> women's spoiled really today but like, we, like we said we've been talking about it and uh, I, I keep saying I keep harping back saying we don't want to get carried away but <laughs> you know Gareth was played really well in the West Ham game you know in the, in the, in the first leg of this of this game against Wolfsburger, he was good. But the weight of pass from Delhi again was fantastic, and what a finish. Yeah. I mean, he has got a wonder of a left foot, and uh, you know, we've seen this time and time again, but we just haven't seen it in this second spell at Tottenham. But I mean, that was a proper finish. A bit Great of vintage goal. bail back, do you think? Well, I hope so. And you know, look at those two men in the picture there with Son and Kane. Uh, I'm trying, trying my best to sort of keep grounded here because I know that Wolfsburger are not a Premier League opposition, but. 
you know, if you can get those two firing with, with Son and Kane as well, then, then Tottenham are going to be a force. Yeah, very exciting indeed. OK, well, let's hear from a man who uh, watched it all unfold in front of him then. Eric Dyer is with Becky Ives. Eric, congratulations. You look like you enjoyed that one out there. Did you always feel in control of that game and the tie in general? Yeah, we've, um, you know, obviously coming with a, a very good result from the first leg um, helps a lot. And then um, today, I think we started very well. We had a very good first 20 minutes, but then after that, um, we let them get back into the game a bit too much. Um, half time, we adjusted that, and second half, I think we had complete control and, and scored some good goals. Well, clean sheets is something that's been slightly lacking of late for Tottenham in general. How pleased to keep one tonight? Yeah, very important. You know, um, we, we, yeah, we haven't been hap we're happy with the amount of clean sheets we've, we've been able to keep recently, having, having kept so many at the beginning of the season. So, um, yeah, it's something, obviously, personally and the, the defence in general are focusing on, and it's very happy to get one today. Well, four goals tonight. The pick has to be Deli Alley's. How pleased were you for him? Yeah, I'm delighted for him. Fantastic goal. Um, I think... Uh, I think um, he's, you know, step by step, he's getting back to, to his best. And I think that goal is another glimpse of that and, and what he can bring to the team. I think it, in football, everyone has a very uh, short memory and maybe they've forgotten a bit of Deadly's quality. So tonight he's reminded everyone of that and hopefully he can keep pushing and keep, keep performing in that way. Well, how important is it to be having this great Europa League run? Is it good for confidence within the squad? Yeah, very good. Um, you know, it's important. It's really important, given you know our run in the our recent run in the Premier League. You know, it's it's nice to have other competitions to focus on, and and you know that distraction at times is is is, is welcome. So, to 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 be through to the next round is fantastic for us, and that's our ambition. And you know, we, we have we have big ambitions in all. You know, we started off the season with big ambitions in all competitions, and you know that stays the same for the Europa League. So we're really focused on this competition. It's a great opportunity for us. Well, you are still in this through to the last 16, and there is a cup final on the horizon. How much as a squad are you desperate to win a trophy this season? Yeah, well, the desperation's been there for for a long time. You know, it's been, you know, looking back over the the, the last six years that most of us have been here together, um, it's been very frustrating not to get one, and it's something. It's something that you know we really want to achieve for the club, for the fans, for, for ourselves. So um, you know we'll be doing everything, everything possible to do that. And the Europa League is obviously a great opportunity for us, and and the the final of the Carabao Cup as well. Eric, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, well, it certainly was a comprehensive victory, and you know a really good chance as well for some of the youngsters to come on when you're. You know, four nil up. It's always or three nil up at that point. It was always good to see the youngsters getting blooded in. Jose Mourinho saying that some of them are training with the main team already. Yeah, you know, don't we? Dan, Dane Scarlett's been. Uh, he's come on. He's uh, he's played already. Only 16 years of old, but yeah. Lavinia, yeah. Um, I thought they did well. Noel John as well. Both of them coming on. Special, special nights these. Yeah. And what is difficult is you know the parents aren't here the ones that we were talking about you know myself <laughs> i came here at the, this very stadium and uh you know train tuesdays and thursdays and um you know you want your mum and dad to sort of be here yeah especially uh, for that see. moment for for uh, dane scarlet there i mean that assist was just i mean that's just hunger isn't it no, just getting in there it was brilliant you know he was keen um you know the angle of his press was fantastic he well he sneaked up on him and I was up praying sort of Vinicius would get out of the way, really. I know, he, you know, he already had a goal. I'd have liked Dane Scarlett to have taken that on and get, got himself yeah. a goal. It was, uh, but, yeah, he's got, he's got to finish that off, Vinicius. Yeah, indeed. Well, that assist for Dane Scarlett was actually the first for a 16-year-old in the Europa League since, well, a certain Kylian Mbappe, which uh, he scored against Tottenham, in fact, in 2015-2016 uh, in that campaign. Uh, so very good to see and certainly something great to live up to as well. And, you know, just talking about the kids there as well, I mean, the Spurs has had sort of a bit of a pipeline. Some of the younger ones have been blooded through. Some of them have been going out on loan. Harry Winks has been retained. I mean, what do you make of sort of these young ones coming through? It's such a big moment for them, isn't it? But do you do you see sort of the raw talent in them? Yeah, well, you know, it's nice to have Ledley King on the, on the backroom team, someone I know very well. And, um, you know, he, he, he's spoke to me a couple of times about some some very good youngsters coming through and we can see that tonight it was a perfect night for them when a big occasion in Europe and they're already six seven one up when they when they brought on the youngsters so it's a perfect time to blood them I thought they did themselves justice Dane Scarlett involved in the goal so yeah it's uh, it, it, the future's bright hopefully yeah hopefully so as well and hopefully the short-term future as well if there are cups and uh, trophies to win as well uh, let's hear from the man who said he wanted a victory he got a big one here today Jose Mourinho is with Becky Ives. 
Well, Jose, congratulations. A 4-0 win on the night. We got to the hope so plan. Was this just a pleasing night all round? Yeah, it was good. Um, we got through. We won the match like we wanted. Uh, no need of emergency plan. We managed to, to play well for long periods. I believe that all the four goals were beautiful goals. Bring confidence to the players. For the kids, of course, special night, especially for the two that played for the first time. No injuries. It was good. It was good. Well, let's talk about Deli Ali's goal because it really was a standout moment in the first half there. You also got the assist with a pinpoint cross. Do you feel that this is what you've been waiting to see from him? And what's changed? You know, we had a difficult period. Um, he had the injury, at the same time he had the injury, it was the same period of uh, talk, talk, talk about staying, leaving, leaving, staying. The market closed, the injury is gone, he started working with lots of motivation and he's coming and uh, that's what we need. Uh, these are the questions I love to, to answer. He's playing very, very well. He's, I'm not saying in this moment we have uh, a starting lineup because with so many matches we'll be about having to rotate players, but uh, he's coming and of course the goal was beautiful, but for me the, the meaning of the assist, uh, the meaning of the hard work that he had for the, for the team uh, means more for me because an artistic goal, uh, he can do it, but that work that continuity in the performance is what makes me really happy. Well, you mentioned the youth. Dane Scarlett, you said, is training with the first team pretty much. He got an assist tonight. How did you feel that the youth got on at the end? He's a diamond. <laughs> He's a kid with an incredible uh, potential. He's working many, many times with uh, the first team, which gives him, of course, a different even a different personality. He's playing, of course, with the young uh, people. He's still 16, uh, sex, 17 soon, but he's still 16. And I believe that next season he's going to be a, a first-team player, a first-team squad player, because his talent is to, to develop. And when the kids are very, very good, 17, 18 or 20, doesn't change much. He is going to be a fantastic player, I hope just that everything goes well around him and uh, nothing strange uh, disturbs his development because the kid has a, a fantastic talent. He's a striker, he's a number nine. I'm playing him more uh, from the sides, a little bit similar to what happened to, to Rashford. Uh, when you are too young, it's more difficult to be a nine and it's easier to come from, from the sides without losing that uh, killer instinct. It's very clever. I'm, I'm very, very pleased. Are there any players tonight for you that perhaps have played themselves into Premier League starting position contention? You know, I would say all of them. Uh, there is not one player here that I say I'm not happy with. Uh, the performances were, were good. Uh, are they all going to start the game uh, next Sunday? No. Uh, but we play Sunday, we play Wednesday, we play Sunday, we play Thursday. And this is what the team, what the team needs. Uh, one player injured, uh, Gio Lo Celso, but coming. So we are in a good position to, to fight back. Well, Jose Mourinho, full of praise there for the youngsters and saying that he's in a good position going forward. And that is the key, really, isn't it? It's taking the form and the confidence from a competition like this into the Premier League because that's the bread and butter. Yeah, well, that's what tonight was about. Um, I think it, they were always going to be comfortably going through. Uh, that proved to be the case, but they...